Hi, uh, so I'm going to teach how actually teach myself how to use this jsonbin.io to create mock APIs uh, just by pasting in the JSON response that we want. So first of all, go to this website jsonbin.io and then create account. You can log in using Google. Uh, I only have an account uh, which I created using Google. I think so. Okay. So. Mm, this is a free account in free account you can get around 10,000 request so I just created this account today and I think I already made 15 requests but just for trial or just for like demo purposes you can use the free account so uh, go to if you want to create a uh, like a JSON mock server you can go to bean do and then I will do create bin. so here you can paste in the uh, sample JSON response. So let me okay. Say I want this here. So I want this to be. Uh, I don't want this. I want this to be the response that it returns when when I call an endpoint. One do text here and title. I will just name it. So love title okay and then say bin so when i do this uh, from there i'll get the url okay now uh, using this url i can i can make a request from either the android app ios app or like any any other client so uh, for now i will use postman to show you how it looks like just mm, create a new request i hope you know how to use postman paste the url here it might not work because uh, it will expect you to send you need to pass x master key or x access key in the header to re to read a private bin, bin okay so i think if it does public we might not need these two things uh, i haven't seen okay i think i think we can make it public uh, let's see so this is created just now so if i do edit person name is disable update bin since since this is a free version, I wonder if we can. I doubt if we can make it public. Uh, think bin is private. Embrace setting bin to public. Okay, so uh, let me do this. I'll create a new bin uh, with and uh, no, I I'll, I'll show you how to use the headers actually so for this one this is private and wh while i'm trying to use it uh, just uh, use just the url here uh, i got this error say saying uh, these two headers are required so i'll go back here and then go to api keys and in api keys i have mm, this uh, master key will al already be present there uh, for x access key i need to create a access key here and then this will be populated so now we can copy these this and this and then go to uh, go to here like uh, in the in, in postman go to headers section in headers first add this x master key also add x access key i don't know if both of them are required or not for x master key uh, copy this for x access key copy this <coughs> now send the request okay so we we, we got the uh, response here so uh, this is how uh, we can use uh, we can use this json bean to get a request so uh, while while we are using android using retrofit uh, this part can be considered as the base url and this part can can be the endpoint so one example of that is <coughs> I show you the API service here. Uh, this is how it works. So, uh, and uh, we have to model this. We have to. So, so this is just the Android part, okay? So, uh, using JSON bin, using a client making making request is finished. And this is how to use it on Android. So, even though uh, on JSON bin we we wanted this as a response, but uh, we they also return a metadata. So while while uh, modeling this this response. Uh, let me show it side by side. Uh, we have to, like, we have to do like this. I 
and let's try try to split <coughs> uh, so w the fetch data which cause this endpoint uh, will return JSON bin response and the type of this will be uh, metadata and record X so metadata and record X so instead of record I used record X because the record is used somewhere else so record X will be will be like body in title user ID so in this case body title user ID uh, this one doesn't have ID because I did this is a different project so we don't need ID in, in this case so uh, and so how like we use it and one more thing so when we call this face face data this will give this whole like bo this whole body and I mean uh, this will give us the whole response and when I when we do body here this will give this particular exact response and body dot record will give us this object this is a little bit confusing at least to me but I think if, if you follow this pattern uh, you can understand how, how I'm using it here so this way we can this is not the, like right way of doing it but uh, I just want to show how we can use the endpoint uh, and then make an API call and and also how to model the data uh, I guess that's all thank you